Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see about the bending operation with the help of bending ties. So let us talk about the bending. So here the bending is the metal working process by which we can convert the straight length into the curve length. It is very common forming process. Basically bending uh, belongs to the forming process and uh, in forming process the changing the sheet and plate into the channel drums and tines. So with the help of this bending process we can change the sheet straight sheet and plate into the channel drums and tanks. During this bending operation, the bending material belongs to two position. The outer surface of the material is in tension and the inside surface is in compression. So here we have the bending terminology diagram and in this diagram uh, during the bending process uh, and here this is neutral axis. Suppose this is middle one dotted lines indicate the middle uh, neutral axis. Above the neutral axis we have tension zone and below the neutral axis we have compression zone. So here in simple language we can say that during bending operation the material the outer surface of the material is in tension and the inside surface of this material is in compression and the strain in the bend material increases with decreasing the radius of curvature. So here we have the radius of curvature and the strain in the bend material increases with decreasing this radius of curvature. So this is what about the bending. So let us talk about the methods of bending. Basically here we have two types of bending, methods of bending. First one is V bending and second one is edge bending. So here this diagram represents the V bending and this diagram represents the edge bending. So first of all we are going to say about the V bending. So in V bending a wedge shaped punch forces the metal sheet or strap into the wedge shaped die cavity as shown in this figure and here we can say that this is punch and uh, the shape of the punch is wedge shape or V shape and this punch applies the force over this metal and this metal is placed over the wedge shaped die cavity and when we apply the force with the help of this punch we get the required bending operation in the material and uh, during bending the bent angle may be acute or it may be obtuse. As the punch descends or it applies the force in downward direction, the contact forces at the die corner produces a sufficiently large bending movement at the punch corner. So in this punch corner, it will create the large bending movement and which will cause the necessary deformation and because of this we get the required bending operation. To maintain the deformation to the plane strength. The side creep of the part during its bending is prevented or reduced by encrypting a spring loaded nerve pin in the die. So this is what about the V bending. So here again uh, this in this diagram we have a uh, punch V punch shape uh, which applies the force over the material in the die cavity and we get the bending operation. So again this diagram represents the V bending here. First, in first diagram we have this is a die and this is our workpiece which is straight and this is our punch which is uh, v-shape when we apply the force with the help of this punch over the workpiece we get this bending operation so in figure second the bending operation is over let us talk about the next type of bending that is edge bending in edge bending a flat punch forces the stock that is material against the vertical force of the die. So here we have die and this is our workpiece material and we apply here the force with the help of this punch over this material and we get the bending operation and that operation is called as edge bending. The bent axis is parallel to the edge of the die and the stock, stock means our material is subjected to a cantilever loading. So here we can say that when we apply the force over this material, uh, the phenomena is like a cantilever loading. To prevent the movement of stock during the bending, it is held down by a pressure before the punch contact hits. So here we have a pressure pad. With the help of this pressure pad, we can apply or we can hold the workpiece material with the die cavity and uh, then the punching or bending operation can be done. The die is called as winging die. So here this die is also called as winging die. So these two diagram represent the edge bending with whipping die. So here we can say that in first diagram uh, here the black portion shows the punch 
this is our uh, pressure pad which hold the work piece against this punching force and then the punching or bending operation can be done by applying the force over the material with the help of this punch so this is what about the edge bending now we are going to talk about the some basic terminology which is used in the bending operation so here first we have bend radius so it is defined as the radius of curvature on the inside or concave surface of the bend so here we can say that the bend radius is defined as the radius of curvature so this is what our bend radius so the it is defined as the radius of curvature on the inside or concave surface of the bend to prevent the cracking of the material on the outer tensile surface the bend radius cannot be made smaller than the certain value and what are the certain value which is shown in third point when the bending to an angle 90 degree the minimum bend radius and bend radius is denoted by letter small r so for uh, carbon steel the range of that bend radius is 2 to 5 times t t means the thickness of that material then for stainless steel it may be 1 multiplied by t for ti alloys it may be 2 to 3.5 thickness for brass it may be 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 times thickness and for aluminium the bend radius may be 0 0.35 times the thickness of that material so this is what about the bend radius next we are going to say about the bend allows so here the bend allows to calculate the blank length for the bending the bend allowance is used the length of the material in the curve section or the bend area has to be calculated this length in the bend area which will be more than the corresponding length of the blank before the bending is called as bending allows the bending allows varies with the distance of the neutral axis from inside surface of the bend the bending allows can be calculated by following formula so here we have the formula of bend allows b is equal to alpha divided by 360 multiplied by in bracket 2 pi in bracket r plus k bracket complete where alpha is the bend angle in degree r is the inside bend radius in mm and k the distance of neutral axis from the inside surface of the bend in mm so this is what about the bend allows thank you for watching for this video